Hey guys, finished a few more knives here, making another video, just kind of documenting my uh, knife making journey. This time I tried my hand at some Japanese uh, style knives here, just kind of playing around, trying some different stuff. <clears throat> so uh, what I did here, I had a long slender piece of steel left and I uh, thought, well, I can make a really pointy, uh, stabby kind of knife here. So. Decided I'd give my uh, try my hand at uh, doing like a Japanese kind of style handle wrap. This is what I ended up with. Bought some uh, what do they call Edo cord off of Amazon. Did my best there. I, uh, after I was done, I brushed on West Systems epoxy. And I don't really know what I'm doing. Tried to find some videos on YouTube showing how to do this, and you can find some that kind of show the basics of you know folding this part, but. I couldn't find anything hardly at all showing how like how to end like what to do when you get to the end of the handle so I did my best I think it looks good on this side uh, this side looks a little janky but turned out pretty comfortable tell you what this kind of grip uh, really does give you real good grip in the hand that thing's not coming loose you know sorry I got kind of a wobbly camera here today uh, for the base of this I just used twine and uh, like I said I soaked it with epoxy so epoxy resin so this uh, it should hold everything in place I hope. Gave the blade a stone wash finish. I think that turned out pretty cool. This thing is very sharp and very pointy. I said it's kind of a I don't really <clears throat> don't make a whole lot of kind of you know fighting style knives I'm more into like bushcrafty type stuff but uh this is definitely a very pokey knife. Yes, you could. Uh, I think you could really get up in somebody's ribs or something with that if you really wanted to. Uh, also tried my hand at uh, more of what you think of when you think of a Tanto knife. I guess with both of these. So there's like the American Tanto, which would be this one on the left, and more of a traditional Tanto tip, which is the one on the right. I did one of each, just kind of screwing around. So I found. Uh, uh, mistakes were made here, so uh, experimenting. So the secondary grind on the you know American Tanto, I don't really know what I'm doing. I tried my best. I think it looks kind of cool, but watch when I flip it over. Yeah, that's not the same. I set up the same angle. Thought I was grinding it at the exact same the exact same way on both sides, but for some reason, one side turned out looking like this. The other side turned out looking like that. I don't know why. Still learning stuff. Uh, did kind of a rough hammered finish on the flats on this one. Turned out really sharp. Experiment with different stuff. I got uh, brass Corby bolts, Corby pins. I think that's what they're called. Or is it Loveless? It's either Loveless or Corby. The ones that screw together. <clears throat> Again, uh, don't really know how to end of the handle. One side I think looks alright and the other side looks a little sloppy. Again impregnated it with uh, resin so I don't think it's going anywhere. Also decided with these to do this kind of uh, pointy pommel there but end and even though it's gosh focus camera even though it's not focus focus Jeez. There we go. <laughs> I'll tell you. So I didn't want this to be too pointy, so I kind of rounded it. I softened the, the edges so nothing here is real sharp. It's not going to, you know, you can't scrape your fingernail. It's not going to scrape on you. It's not going to poke you. It's basically about as sharp as your average Phillips head screwdriver, but it's still pointy enough that, you know, if you smack that on a person or a thing, anything really, that's, that's going to leave a, a mark. For sure. What else? Uh, also, so I liked the way this turned out. This more traditional uh, style tip, I think. Oh, so I screwed up when I was sharpening. I kind of scraped uh, that on my sharpening stone a little bit. You might see some scrapes there. Oopsies. Like I said, I'm learning. But I like the way the handle turned out. This is a comfortable handle. And I don't think it's moving or going anywhere. Got a little bit of a gap there. That's too bad. Uh, 
Uh, one thing that I tried, this was my first time, I tried to do like a fuller. Some people would call it a blood groove. It's actually a fuller. I tried doing that. I don't really have a good way of doing it. I did it with a ground that in with a um, uh, angle grinder. Just an angle grinder and a thick angle grinder disc on there. It's a little sloppy, but I just wanted to try it to see what would happen, and that's what happened. And I did, you know, I ground that fuller in, and then I ground uh, this bevel, secondary bevel there, swedge, and I lined it up. I don't know. I was kind of, I'm not sure if I like. If I was to do it again, I don't think I would do it the same way as I did. I don't know if I like the way that turned out. I guess I could extend that secondary bevel down and just eradicate that little bit of fuller. That might be the better way to go, and I might still do that. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. But anyway, uh, I need to make some sheaths for these two, and I also want to try these out. I want to use them. So I'm making a video right now just kind of document stuff, uh, see what these look like right now before I start using them, because even though these aren't bushcraft knives and these handles, you know, not really the ideal bushcraft <laughs> kind of handle because like imagine dirt and stuff and crud can really get built up in there if you're using this for heavy use but I'm just kind of experimenting with stuff so I might actually take these knives out and just chop on some wood and, and just do some some stuff with them that you know you wouldn't normally do with a Japanese style tanto, tanto. I don't know like I said I'm just trying to kind of figure things out for myself I did make a sheath for this guy Nothing special. It's black with white thread to kind of go with the uh, black and white uh, knife. I haven't really done much. I should try to make a wood sheath or something one of these days, but I haven't really done that yet. So it's leather for now. Anyway, got to make a sheath for those two, like I said, and take them out and try them out. This one I don't think I'm going to hack wood with. This is more slender, like I said. More of a fighting style knife, at least in my mind. Slender, easy to hide. Lightweight and, and pokey. Anyway, like I said, just uh, I'm kind of rambling here. Just wanted to kind of document these before I go whacking stuff with them, you know. Getting them all dirty and messed up. So my first time trying a fuller, first time trying a American Tanto grind that I don't know. Does anybody know if anybody has an opinion on why the grinds turned out this way? Let me know. Like I said, I'm still learning. But that's enough rambling for today. That's all I got. Take care, guys.